Hello everybody. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem breaking on, uh, basing on a topic called mechanical properties of solids. And the problem is to discuss breaking stress and to find out the length of the wire that breaks due to its own weight. So first of all, I'll come to that one by one. Let us consider what do you mean by breaking stress. The name itself tells you it is a stress. You know the stress is always force acting per unit area. Being the stress is breaking stress, the corresponding force is called something like breaking force acting per unit area of cross section. So, breaking stress is also a kind of a stress that is force acting per unit area. But this is the stress at which the wire is going to break. It's unable to bear the stress that is equivalent to breaking stress. It can bear any stress less than the breaking stress. But once if you apply the breaking stress, the wire is going to break. But be careful in understanding that this breaking stress depends on nature of material, their molecular bonding. But it doesn't depend on the physical dimensions as well as the breaking force per unit area. So, what kind of molecular force of attraction is there is a the cause of a breaking stress. If the force is strong, molecular force of attraction, breaking stress will be large and vice versa. So, be careful in understanding that breaking stress depends on the nature of the material but not on physical dimensions and breaking force and area of cross, cross section. Basing on this, I can write. Breaking force as breaking stress into area of cross section. So, this breaking cause stress depends on the nature of the material only that implies this breaking force depends on the area of cross section directly proportional to as the breaking stress is constant area of cross section that means more the area of cross section it depends bigger it demands bigger breaking force or it is difficult to break that uh, material itself now so and you also need to know that this breaking force is depending only on the area of cross section and it's not dependent of length of the wire so either breaking stress or breaking force are independent of the length of the wire breaking stress depends only on the nature of the material whereas the breaking force depends on the area of cross section taking that basic things into consideration I would like to consider something like this. Consider a rigid support. I want to suspend a wire whose length is equal to L. I want to know, find out that length where length of wire that breaks due to its own weight itself. No external force is applied. Is how much that's what we are supposed to calculate. So I can write breaking uh, stress as breaking force per unit area of cross section. Who is the breaking force here? The weight of that wire itself. Assuming that this wire is having a mass m, breaking force is nothing but equal to mg divided by area of cross section. Assuming that we don't have information regarding the mass, I can write density of that material as, you know the basic definition of the density, mass by volume, 
I can write further volume as area into length, area of cross section and length. So in the place of mass, I can write density of that material, area of cross section and length. Substituting that data in this equation, I can write breaking stress is equal to in the place of M density area of cross section and length and of course g is there by area of cross section area of cross sections can be cancelled that implies breaking stress can be expressed as density of the material length of the wire of the material and acceleration due to gravity that implies length of the wire which breaks due to its own weight L is breaking stress by density of that material and acceleration due to gravity. So, this is how I can calculate the length of the wire which breaks due to its own weight itself. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.